I'm Dr. Muhammad Talat, Assistant Professor of Radiology, Cairo University. Uh, today we are uh, we will discuss some cases, trauma cases, uh, within our course, emergency CT brain course. Uh, this is a case with trauma. We have an extra axial collection located at the right temporoparietal region, and this collection characterized by its inner concave border. Look for this one. This is a border. So we are dealing with subdural hematoma, acute subdural hematoma. So if we need to describe this one, we have a crescentic shape, extra axial hemorrhagic blood collection. Sometimes we can call it concave or convex. Sometimes we can call it lemon shape, but I feel comfortable with crescentic extra axial hemorrhagic blood collection. And this one exerts mass effect in the form of mild effacement of the cortical cell sign and the minimal midline shift. Midline shift measures about 3.7 millimeter. And the thickness of the subdural hematoma measures about 7 millimeter. And within the hematoma, we can localize some high potency areas within the blood collection. This one may suggest swell sign. And swell sign indicate active bleeding. So we have a suggestion of active bleeding. So close follow-up is recommended in this case. If we need to conclude or to summarize, what is the indication of surgery in case of subdural hematoma? If the thickness of the hematoma more than 10 millimeter, if the midline shift more than 5 millimeter. Those are the indication for surgical interference. So this one is not indicated for surgical interference, but we have swell signs, so close follow-up is very important in this case. If we need to make a comparison between extra dural hematoma and sub dural hematoma. We have three points, three main points to differentiate. The first regarding the sutures, sutures and midline extension and the blood. Extra dural hematoma doesn't cross the sutures, but sub dural hematoma can cross the sutures. Regarding the midline extension, extra dural hematoma can cross the midline, but sub dural hematoma, of course, it will not cross the midline. Why? Because subdural hematoma, the blood collection is inside the dura refraction, in the subdural space. And the dura is covering the brain. So the dura will cover the brain. It will not cross the midline. Regarding the blood, the extra dura hematoma is caused by injury of the middle meningeal artery. So most likely it is arterial blood. Subdural hematoma is caused by injury to the venous plexus inside the subdural space. So it most likely venous blood. Those are the main differential points between the extra hematoma and sub hematoma. <laughs> As we discussed that we need to go by our checklist from outside to inside, we have here extracranial subgallial hematoma in the high parietal region. We don't have any brain contusions. We don't have any abnormal cerebral parenchymal areas of low attenuation or abnormal attenuation. We don't have any masses. The posterior fossa is clear. So we need to go to check the bone window. Here, we can detect fissure fracture line in the right temporal and parietal calvarial bones. And this fracture line is crossing the midline, as you see here, crossing the midline. To the contralateral side. Look for this one. The fracture line is extending to the left parietal calvarial bone. So we have an acute subdural hematoma for close follow up. As we recommended to follow up this case, in 24 hour follow up, 
the extra the subdural hematoma progressed in its size as you see here the maximum thickness is 11.8 millimeter so this one is indicated for surgery and we have also the midline shift between the forum of Monroe and the midline line it measures about 6.7 millimeter so we have two indications for surgical interference so before starting to report this case please hold your phone and call the neurosurgeon that we have a case of acute subdural hematoma may need surgical interference. We have here small collection along the left tinturial leaflet. This is a specific form of subdural hematoma. When we continue to scan the patient, we will find something abnormal in the opposite direction, in this area, in the right temporal region. How can we think together? How can we think together? We have subdural collection here, and we have here abnormal parenchymal attenuation value. We have cerebral brain edema, high potent cerebral brain edema, with focus of particular hemorrhage, as we see here. This is a particular hemorrhage, and this is brain edema. So we have here brain contusion on the opposite side of the subdural hematoma. Also, we have here small subgallial hematoma. So we have here, this is the primary impact. This is the site of the primary trauma at this area. And on the opposite direction, we have here another abnormality, brain contusion at the right temporal region. How can we make a link between both of these abnormalities? The link is coup and counter coup mechanism of injury. What does it mean, coup and counter coup? I will take a help from Radiopedia. Look with me in this illustrative image. This is the primary impact here. This is the site of the primary impact. The brain tissue is going to move on the opposite direction and will be compressed at the opposite direction against the skull bolt, against the calvarial bolt. So this is the secondary impact. So we have primary impact and secondary impact on the opposite direction. So this is a coup, this is a coup, and this is a counter coup. Coup and counter coup can occur along the occipital and temporal region, most, most likely involving the temporal and the frontal loops. We need to return back to our case. Let's go to see. Case. So the explanation for these opposite abnormalities is coup and counter coup brain injury. Let's go to see the coronal plane. The coronal plane is easily demonstrating the subdural hematoma, as you see here. You should measure the thickness, the maximum thickness of the subdural hematoma. And you, check, you should check the bone. I checked the bone. There is no fractures. There is no other abnormalities. So we have here two cases today, trauma cases. The last case, our message or our teaching point is coup and counter coup injury. So once we have any subdural or extra hematoma or brain contusions at any site, you should see and search for any abnormality in the opposite side of the trauma direction. Thank you so much.